Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you what seems to be a YouTube first, the new Kokonoe stable, to which Chio Taidu and the gang moved not two weeks ago. It forms part of a new line of residences along that side of the street, but the Okudo neighbourhood as a whole is mostly one of older buildings and shops, with a long riverside walk on offer to wrestlers wishing to clear their minds. The new stable is also just three kilometres away from Chiyotaidu's Daido Junior High School, which also counts among its graduates Tsurugisho, brothers Hidenoumi and Tobizaru, and new second division man Tohaku Ryu. That's 7% of all the current salaried wrestlers. And, in case you were wondering whether the ex-wrestler Daido also went there, yes he did. Daido Junior High, we salute you. Now, the last 24 hours have seen some big names give their reaction to the latest rankings chart. Defending champion Dai Esho insists that the joys of January are now in the past, and he's firmly focused on improving his rank, i.e. challenging for Ozeki. I've come to believe that if I further master the art of push and thrust, I can aim yet higher, he says. Once you reach Sanyaku level, you're aiming for Ozeki, and I want to try and get there step by step. Set to arrive there before him, though, is Terunofuji, Fuji, who is fighting 20 to 25 bouts a day with his salaried stablemates as preparation. Ozeki has drawn closer, he said, reflecting on 24 wins in the past two tournaments. And I feel I've got to seal it now, for if I don't, it's back to needing 33 wins from three tournaments again. This time I'll be exerting everything I have to reach the 33 win target. But more important will be sumo quality and style. For now, I can say the two years since my comeback have gone exactly as planned. I knew in my mind the day would come when I would again challenge for Ozeki. He stressed there's nothing fundamentally different between now and when he first went for Ozeki six years ago, stating that, It's just the same when I mount that dohyo. I'm just trying to fight calmly now. He did concede that his volume of training has dropped since his prime, and that he sat out the February Kokugikan sessions due to concerns his stamina might not hold up. However, he insists stamina is something he's working on, and that coach Ajigawa is advising him on how to make his body yet stronger. Meanwhile, current Ozeki Shodai has resumed practice bouts with salaried stablemate Yutakayama, fighting 10 of them on Tuesday and planning to up that to 15 or 20. We've had a longer gap than usual between tournaments, so I could take my time getting things together, he said. Now it's a case of boosting stamina and strength before the actual tournament. Shodai admits his left ankle still feels strange, even though it gives him no pain, but adds his main enemy this season is hay fever, which wreaks havoc with both his nose and eyes. And his dislike of needles means he won't take an injection. Somehow, he says, he will still do his best to make Teronofuji work for his Ozeki promotion. Finally, Hakuho has helped his personal trainer of the past eight plus years, Tomonari Oba, put together the latest book about him. Entitled The Theories of Hakuho's Brain, the book looks at how the Yokozuna gears everything towards his simple goal of winning, being unafraid to discard convention in his approach. Mr. Oba has been looking after me intensely, especially since I started to feel the changes in my body post-30. And it's no exaggeration to say that thanks to him, since the age of 32, I've been able to build a new era, Hakuho said in a press release. He continued, In Mongolia, we say that craftsmen carry divine wisdom. And when I see what Mr. Oba has made of my body, I can only say the same for him.